Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Production Line. After a little break, um, because our guys all went on strike, uh, because I couldn't afford to pay them, because we were uh, getting extremely low on money, uh, we stopped the Production Line to sell all the cars we had, because we were getting close to about uh, uh, 270 cars. So we now have got loads of money in the bank. So I've decided to follow the advice of um, from Eraser TM, who left a comment on one of my previous videos in connection with the car design. So we've got this current on pause. So I'll just go through what I've actually done. Um, I've changed my mid car to a budget sedan by reducing the premium down to 10%. I've changed my expensive down to a mid range again by reducing it to 10%. And I've introduced a 100% everything on here expensive car but it's also an electric uh, so actually there's only a few things that actually aren't on here so let's just change things around slightly now so hybrid we don't need that we might as well put that on just so it's there and don't need a stop start engine because we've got an electric so um, that's basically what I've done I've gone through each of these and I've deleted or oh, archived the original car so uh, we've also put in a, a slight uh, a deviation to this route here because the emissions check is not needed for battery cars so we should see cars going around that uh, I've upgraded a few of the slots so that uh, they can now actually do the batteries uh, and the hybrids etc uh, stop start engine and electric powertrain etc I put a bit of storage down here as well uh, we've introduced a new polishing uh, paintwork section so it's not as big as the drying sections on these two but that's because it's only going to be two car models that go through here and we should be producing um, probably uh, twice as many basic cars as we are mid and expensive so that should be able to cope with that if not we can increase it a little bit later um, what else have I got done? I have um, ooh, I've upgraded the uh, fuel tanks so that they can now actually have the batteries. So we've got extra large batteries in every single car. So all that leaves us to do is to actually start production again. Let's get this ball rolling. So we are, as I said before, we're going to be producing a number of uh, electric cars and uh, speed this up a bit actually and we'll follow some of these through because this line is the ones that are starting off producing electric. So make sure they can actually do everything they need to do um, before we have a little problem. So, so yeah, so uh, we've also introduced a, um, uh, as I said before, the mechanisms or the uh, features of the electric car everything's on there so that hopefully we will be able to uh, start selling them and people won't be complaining over the uh, quantity of um, features that are missing so I'm hoping that that will be the case this time round, and we'll start selling on a very regular basis uh, after we've watched this little car come all the way through the system because uh, obviously he should go and get him polished as well. Um, we should be able to uh, start uh, introducing new um, features, which will be the building of our electric powertrains and our other engines uh, to see what uh, how things fare on that and what other mistakes I've, I make on the way. Uh, we've also introduced a new sports car so this we've now actually the the i think the top end sports car let me just find one should now be a convertible there we go so the electric car is a convertible on the sports so that should be good right insufficient resources what's going on here so we're waiting for windows we've got windows all over the place where are they need to probably get some more windows brought in okay so our basic car is working its way through quicker than our electric yes. 
why is no one using that one? Let's make sure that's actually connected. Do you know what? Okay, it wasn't even connected all the time. That doesn't bode well. Okay, so. Where's our electric car? Yeah, what's he doing there? Oh, he's getting dried. Right, that's our electric car. So we should be able to see this. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Mid sedan. No, maybe he's not. There's our electric car. So there's one we need to be watching. Come on. How long are you going to be in there? And he's on his way now. Okay. So we should see this car after going through the next section of uh, paint and drying. He should go and get himself polished. So this should pull off on this route here. Unless I've missed this one. Is that electric? No, that's a mid. And that's a sports mid. Yep, so I've got a nice blue electric car I love the way they turn before that corner now I was thinking of putting smart junctions on um, I like the idea of it um, however I think at the moment um, the cars are already very intuitive they know what they need to do or where they need to go um, so splitting things off for smart junctions will only work if we want to say right okay I want all my electric cars to go down a different route to um, my other cars or um, different powertrains where they need to be installed. So say for instance here, instead of actually having um, all these build the fitting, um, whatever we need. Hang on, whoa, 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 hang on. Oh, he's a mid, mid he's a mid. Where's my electric one? I've lost my electric. Oh. Ah, there we go. There's an, an electric and another electric. So they're going off for a polishing. So where's that other electric one gone? Nope. Yeah, so what I was saying is... Um, cars that uh, need to be um, polished will automatically go over here, etc. So the only way that smart junctions will work, uh, or the way I see it working effectively, is by having each of these power lines, as it were, set up for a specific type of car. So say, for instance, um, we wanted uh, the a single line purely for our electric cars. Now... We could possibly put in a fourth line down here because we've got all our electric cars coming down this route here. So they will then come into here um, off the polishing. Uh, but we do also have, I think, uh, uh, one of the other models possibly going through here as well. Or is it just all electrics? Just stop that. Come on. No. No. There we go. Off-road mid. Yeah, an off-road mid's getting polished. Uh, and the SUV. So basically anything from mid uh, and electrics should be getting um, polished. So that should um, happen without any problems. Now what, ooh, what's going on down here? Upgrade missing. Right, this is what I was looking for. Uh, let's upgrade. Um, we want some buy all. And you know what? Uh, they're doing a four-minute job, so that should get sorted now. Yeah, no, it was a case of uh, I've uh, installed, uh, not installed. I have um, put the electric cars having absolutely everything on there, really just to test the lines uh, to make sure that we are um, able to produce everything on the line without any little hiccups. And we should, when we start seeing our cars come through, that's not an electric one. 
So it's not a uh, convertible. So he's an electric sedan. So there's the electric sedan I lost before. But I wonder whether he actually got polished. Hmm. Not sure. So he should miss the emissions check uh, coming through. Okay, let's just... okay, and he's gone th gone in. Ah, he just went in and straight through, so he didn't actually stop. So he's gone straight through the quickest routes. That's interesting. I was expecting him not to even go in there, to be honest. Let's see whether anything else. See there, the emissions check is uh, 1 minute 30. And we have any other car. So let's pick up mid. All right, here we go. Here's our uh, little sports car. So he is our electric uh, model. Nice little convertible. And he should fly through without any stopping. There we go. Perfect. Right. So we should now be making some money again. We have got, uh, obviously, a bank balance of 8 million uh, now because that was primarily because of selling off all our cars. So we can do with um, being smart now about what we're going to uh, build in-house next. So, um, look, let's have a look at the list. Oops, where we go. So we have got, uh, bah, 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 into our engine, we've got fit powertrain. We can flash in new so we can make our powertrains. We can make our engines, etc. So maybe we should look at that. Um, at the moment, I don't think we can't make the electric powertrain. Um, I don't think we can buy in. I'll tell you what, let's place um, and make an engine bay. Uh, let's see, we're make, putting them down here. So realistically, we could just. Let's drop one over here just for the time being. Only 31,000. So, what can we do on here? Can we upgrade? No, so that will only assemble the engine. Okay, so let's look at our powertrain. Okay, so here we can... We can build the stop-start engines and we can... That's all we can do with that. And that's fit powertrain. So, engine controller. No. So that's all that's going to do is do our engine controller, which will then go with the engine to make uh, the powertrain. So at the moment, I would say we'll leave the engine side of things because I'm going to try and be uh, building more um, electric cars uh, throughout and hope that will work well for us. Um, are we making our own radiators? I think we are, aren't we? So yeah, there's our radiators. Now, we can make tyres. So we could make our own tyres. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Alright, so we were looking to utilise that at some point. I'm going to change my mind on that for the time being. Um, let's drop you down there so you're already on uh, the uh, line so I don't need to put anything more in so you're buying in rubber and you're producing one tyre so how many tyres are you producing it's just one let's watch that animation for a moment right all that work with two presses, we only get one tyre. Doesn't make sense. Right, okay, so we can now select these guys and say, let's actually have preferred local. Because we're not going to be producing enough at this moment in time to totally uh, satisfy the demand. And the last thing I want is uh, for the... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, for the uh, cars to slow down because we're not producing enough. Now, one thing that really 
frustrates me is we have our alloy wheels and we have our standard wheels they've already got tires on so why do we need to build tires separately we, we should either be making our tires making our hubs then putting them together and then possibly uh, fitting them because I can't imagine any production line where you'd fit tires I mean okay we're fitting tire sensors in here but realistically you wouldn't do that so maybe that's something for Cliff to uh, pick up on in the future so we're actually producing uh, that's, that's going to take a quite a while to produce those, produce those tires so let's um, let's pop a few more in because uh, it won't do any harm uh, there's enough room there still yeah uh, drop you there there make sure you're all connected okay so that should start uh, reducing some costs uh, what else can we make? Ooh, we can make a load of accessories, can't we? Electronics. Hmm. There we go. First electronics. So we can make our lights, horns, seats, uh, windscreens, which we're already doing over here. The windscreens. Uh, where are we? No, we're making the glass. Uh, and the sunroofs are we so that's just the power annex no so that's all the sunroofs okay so we can make the um, the, the windows and that could improve things slightly over here so let's look at this so we have got uh, let's pop one down let's rotate it and rotate it again so it's like so right okay so it needs one glass to produce one windscreen and it takes eight and a half minutes so there's our windscreens fit windows that's windows okay okay uh, do we have a windscreen separately I've already got it on, so it must must be fit windows. They look like they've actually got a windscreen installed. Um, fit roof, fit roof. Yeah, okay. So this must be the windows. No, you idiot. Fit seat, so it's got to be down here. Right, okay. Steering column, steering wheel, lights, horn, seats. Fit windscreen! So why do some of these look like they've actually got a windscreen already installed? Right, okay, so we need to uh, see that installs in four minutes. So, ooh, right, okay, that needs to, let's get rid of that one there. And let's look at um, somewhere down here. So if we've got three lines, we could really do with having uh, six windscreens being made at a time so let's drop you in here okay let's get you all connected Porter. There we go. Perfect. Right. So we can now connect this one up to there. So that's bringing in purely glass. Now 
I don't think I can make glass, so that's fine. So what we'll do is just set these now to prefer. Uh, fit dash, where was it again? Can't see for looking. There we go, fit windscreen. So we'll set all these to prefer local. Um, actually, no, I'm going to say local only. And imports local only. Imports local only. There we go. Right. Okay, so they will uh, start producing the windscreen. Send them down, which is perfect. Um, oh yeah, they're going to take some time to actually do that. But hey ho, that's fine. Uh, we can also make our aircon units. So down here, we're purchasing all these. Is it? Yeah, there we go. There's our aircon. So aircon and climate control. Okay, so we could probably do with building both of those because uh, we have the up the upgraded vehicles all have uh, climate control on there. So that is eleven minutes to make a single unit and we are going to be fitting it in two wow okay that says a lot and look at the size the shape of that let's drop a couple down and connect everything up All right, so can we just pause that for a second? Can we? No, we can't. We can only make an air put air aircon unit. We can't actually make a um, a climate control unit. So might as well just take this lot out and leave it as those three. Uh, because it's going to be a lot of parts coming into there uh, because we're not actually producing uh, that many cars with just standard aircon so we'll set this to I mean we've got aircon preferred local upgrades imports see it just it just wants the climate control so come on there we go prefer local And the same here. Come on. Prefer local. So it's basically only the basic cars that are actually using the aircon. So that maybe that's another update that uh, Cliff will make uh, in the future game. Um, just uh, something else. Uh, may have mentioned. May not have mentioned it. You may not. May or may not have seen it. Is um, when you zoom out now. Cliff's been doing a lot of work in doing the uh, color code and everything but he's also put in a color code on the left hand side here to help you uh, work out what's what so if you're looking at it from the top you can actually see quite clearly what's going on and also I don't know whether this is a little uh, irritation to yourself but all these little notifications we can now um, float in resources we can turn them all off so they're all gone so if that was irritating you in the past, you kind of get to know what's uh, actually um, uh, being used in each location. You don't necessarily need to see everything altogether. I quite like it without them on actually, so I'm going to leave them turned off. Um, what else can we get in? Uh, horn would be useful. Um, we can make our own horns. That's for one minute and six seconds. So the horn, let me try and find it on here. There's a Speakers dash. There we go, our horn. So that is a single thing that's only going in for 3 minutes 30. So if that horn is only one minute to make, one minute six, we could just get away with having a single unit like that in producing our horns so we can set these up to prefer local oops prefer local 
Again, import prefer local. There we go. I'm not going to local only on these new ones because I want to make sure that we can produce enough of them. Um, and also with the lights, uh, two minutes, sorry, two minutes, three minutes, 20, uh, 12 seconds. So we've got three minutes, 12 seconds. So looks like we need to have at least two to three of those systems to make. So let's have a look at the space we've got. Let's rotate that around. And let's see what our options are here. Can we, right, okay, so we can make each different type here. So um, let's actually see what happens when we buy everything. And okay, so I'm leaving the servos uh, to buy in. So let's uh, pop another one and another one. So we have our three. And again, let's just upgrade all of these. Oops, that's the wrong one. By all, yeah. Yeah. And upgrade by all. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that should, let's go and change these as well. That should be able to keep up with demand. And we're going to set this again to prefer local on all our lights. Um, because we want to uh, keep things in house as much as possible. Okay, so the other thing we can do is make seats. Now, uh, the seats that we can make, obviously we're making, um, let's have a look, that's three minutes to make a seat, and it is four minutes to fit everything. Okay, and that's how many seats is that? That's three naps of leather. Um, hang on. Requirements, two seats. One seat? Okay. Right, so let's look at our seat. So that's a, uh, what you call it, uh, a funny shape. So let's drop a couple of those in. And let's see what we can build. And we can only make one type of seat. Okay, so we can't make our naphtha leather. Let's knock out these two. And we'll just do prefer local for that one single one. Okay. Uh, seats prefer local. So yeah, we can't make this nap the leather one, which is uh, a bit of a sh pain. Prefer local and... Where's our seat? Come on. I haven't got a car that needs it yet. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for mirrors, uh, lights. I know I won't prefer local. Not only local. Right, let's try again. Upgrade. No, not yet. Sufficient resources again. Come on. There we go. Let's uh, prefer local. There we go. Okay. So we're making those point. Uh, making those now. So that will all help uh, with our costs. Uh, we've got a flashing new. We've got new research office, new research center, design studio. We've already did, gone through our whole design anyway so I don't know why it's flashing new unless Cliff has done something new behind the scenes so well, let's drop it down for a minute let's have a quick scan now for those of you who uh, may or may not realize you have to research uh, your design studios then you can get all your new body types so yeah there's nothing new there for us to think about so there's no point having it our research center again we've We've got no more new re no research to complete. Everything is all done. Um, 
Yep, yeah, that's fine. The technologies. Everything is fully researched, so we don't need to have any of those uh, research centers at this moment. Uh, otherwise, you're just paying for uh, people to stand around. We do have one marketing unit. Um, they're making one, one marketing idea at a time. Um, yeah, very slowly. Um, all right, so what's going on with our cars? showroom what's the market looking like so we're currently producing one of each car types at a time so our budgets um cars are under price i'm quite happy with them staying under price to be honest um i don't want to be starting to mess things around so produce an hour making two expensive cars of these an hour but we don't actually have customers for both so the expensive sedans right okay so maybe what i'll do is um change one of the lines to be um electric sedans okay let's knock off the off-road one okay let's knock off uh, all the way up here now let's have a look at the schedule so we want the expensive off-road there's no currently no actually i'm going to leave one running on there come on let's just pause this why aren't you scrolling okay because you're only building those you're not actually doing anything else it's this line that's actually yeah this line that's doing everything um so we were looking at our ex sedans so we need to increase those let's knock off the electric one there let's increase that by let's do four at a time let's go back to here again so okay that's now dropped to three per hour okay and that's four so let's because there's only way air uh, yeah let's knock that down to two actually and get two sports okay let's just see how that goes I and mean, we've got 44 cars all there budget budget expensive so we do have a nice little selection of cars in the stock room thankfully they're not going mad because we are producing how many cars we produce in an hour whoops um 24 vehicles an hour uh but we've only got uh 40 odd uh cars in the showroom which is pretty good we've had some uh a new um achievements i just got that premium car production uh just before i started recording uh where we sold a thousand cars at uh, a price higher than twenty five thousand dollars which is that's not 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 bad not bad at all right okay so i think uh, we'll leave it there for this episode we have uh do quite a lot in the sense of just getting ourselves uh up and running again um introducing the new um manufacturing facilities for windscreens uh air conditioning units seats tires um etc um so next time i think what we'll look at is see what we can actually do because we're starting to build up again at 49 we need to have a look at the market a bit better and to see what cars we're producing and maybe we need to actually make a few more of these sedans um to the other cars so that we can actually um sell them um and not, not have uh, so many cars building up so as i say that's murphy out until next time